hi aries welcome back thank you all for being here welcome to my new subscribers this is going to be for aries someone rising venus and north node let's see what is going on for you and your person in love aries okay please remember to take what resonates and leave what does not fit for your situation and these events could be past present or future okay so let's see what's going on i hope everybody is doing well and has had a really good day today so let's see <clears throat> spirit guides angels ancestors for aries and their person please give me clear messages give me the most important messages that aries needs to know about their connection okay whoever you're thinking about aries we have deception lies wearing a mask secrets okay so that could be let's put this up here that was at the bottom so that's what you don't see let's see for aries spirit telepathy so you and this person communicating on a telepathic um in the 5d in the fifth dimension you two share a very strong mental connection let's see what else for aries spirit for aries in their person distance physical distance emotional distance yeah but you guys are still talking though <laughs> uh telepathically some of you guys could live at a distance from this person or like i say you could be you just feel disconnected from this person right now what else nostalgia past love past memories thinking about old times and then we have introverted holding back not saying much closed off bottom of the deck life partner forever potential <laughs> okay so you and this person have this is this very strong connection i mean that's apparent that you two kind of like belong together but this person is holding back for some reason maybe it's because they know that they told a bunch of lies okay and um <laughs> All they can do is really just look at your photos, think about you. All right, so let's see. I'm going to be pulling from some other decks at the end. Aries, so let's see. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors. Why is telepathy here for Aries? What are they talking about? <laughs> Queen of Pentacles, okay. Bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Somebody here is very grounded. They're very stable. They have their money together. They're very warm and kind-hearted, very nurturing. Okay, this person could be a bit older than you or vice versa. Why is telepathy here? For um, Aries, we have the Hermits and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, <laughs> this person is trying to tell you that they love you telepathically. <gasps> yeah, with the Hermit, um, you could be dealing with a Virgo. Cancer Pisces Scorpio but yeah this person here somebody here is in hermit mode they're not you guys are not really doing too much talking because I feel like somebody is soul searching they're doing a bit of um they, they're going through a, a spiritual awakening I feel um somebody here is very wise though okay somebody just knows shit so you can already know how this person feels about you but they keep hiding it or they keep running away from it yeah, but you know that this person feels for you, okay? They want a new beginning in love with you. They want to express their loves because the, the cup is is just too much to bear at this point. Something about this connection is very pure. Yeah, it, it definitely has a potential to grow. What else for the Hermit and the Ace of Cups? What else for the Hermit and the Ace of Cups here? Three of Wands. Yeah, so this is them. I feel I feel like you've been waiting for this person, okay? Or they've been waiting for you or they're waiting for you to tell them how you feel or vice versa. Okay? Because someone's very closed off. Someone is just not talking right now. But I feel like it's because they are going through some type of awakening or they're maybe um getting like wise counsel maybe getting advice from somebody that's very wise right now but i just see someone um waiting for the opportunity or waiting for like their ships to come in to kind of like make their move what is this three of wands for aries the queen of cups yeah so express these emotions 
Yeah, somebody somebody here is very psychic. <laughs> very psychic, okay. It could be a feminine energy that is very intuitive, okay. They're very nurturing. Somebody here could be pregnant. Or this person could be telepathically communicating you with you about getting you pregnant. <laughs> Because they love you so much. I mean, there's a lot of emotions here. Somebody is very emotionally mature. Somebody could also be leaving someone behind. Okay, moving on. Because the three of wands is like not looking back at the past. Waiting for your ships to come come in. Um, Going towards new opportunities. Traveling. So this person could be traveling towards you. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, this person is probably waiting for the right time to tell you how they feel. But until then, they're communicating it through telepathy. <laughs> okay, so you can probably feel when this person is trying to reach out to you. Or you can feel when they're tugging on your energy here, Aries. Yeah, because right now they're just watching you. The pages do mean um, communication, though. They do mean communication. So let's see, why is distance here for Aries? Spirit. Why is distance here for Aries? The sun. Yeah, it could be dealing with the Leo. You really make this person happy. I'm getting like a lot of fertility. You know, I got this in um, Sag's reading and Taurus's reading. A lot about pregnancies and fertility and just, sheesh, I don't know. I don't know. A lot of people are going to be pregnant this winter. <laughs> But yeah, this person, you make this person really happy. Like they really see that they can have a family with you. Um, you make this person really like giggle or vice versa. Like I feel like it's mutual. They really want a family with you. They see success with you. They see happiness. They travel the distance to come get you too. What else for distance with the sun? For Aries, spirit, and the person they're connecting to. The magician, yeah, they're definitely manifesting you here. They're manifesting you. Yeah, what else for the sun? The star. <laughs> yeah, they, they want to heal things with you. The sun, the magician, and the star. Something here. This connection is very faded with these major arcanas right here coming out together. But um, somebody here could be really healing their inner child right now. And, and regaining their strength to manifest what it is that they they want which is you they really want um you in their life okay they're healing right now they're trying to balance themselves out i feel like somebody here is just now tapping into their themselves okay because they've probably been trapped away for a while doing things that just wasn't serving them and i feel like they are very much so tapping into who they are regaining their power their strength what is this magician for aries the tower hmm. what is the magician here with the tower knight of cups then we have the two of cups <laughs> um yeah, something here is going to be a tower moment. Because this card is giving me like they're driving towards you, okay? You guys are at a long distance, but they're coming, okay? Something here is going to be a tower moment. You're going to see this person is going to come in and offer you, um, and, and they're going to want to take you out on a date. They're going to be expressing how they feel about you, okay? Wait a minute. Close the door. I'm coming. Close the door. <clears throat> um... What is the magician in the tower? Four cups. Because, you know, I keep pulling on this because, like, with the magician in the tower, I don't know. Because the magician, you know, could be magic and the tower could be, like, chaos and conflict. But I see it as a good thing. I just, I just see it as this person right now. They're really trying to manifest you. <laughs> And it's going to cause a tower moment. It's going to be like a shock when this person comes in. Because here they come with the Knight of Cups. It always talks about action. They're coming in to tell you how they feel and how they want to heal things between you and them. How you make them happy. Um, because they're very discontent right now with their life. You know, they, they, they're very discontent. They're very... This person could even be depressed a little. 
All right, there, there could be a lot of chaos and conflict in their life, though. It could be. This is what's causing um, the frustration and the anxiety within someone <clears throat> because there's tire moments happening in their life. But I feel like it's going to lead them to this love that they've always wanted here. But, yeah, I just feel like they have to let things fall apart for it to come back together. Because they need to get rid of things that are not serving them or vice versa. It could be you. But, yeah. Could be dealing with a Leo, Virgo, Gemini, Scorpio, Aquarius. Yeah, those are the majors. So, let's see. Why is nostalgia here for Aries? The High Priestess. Why is nostalgia here for Aries? Ten of Cups. One more. For nostalgia. Ace of Pentacles and the Judgment. So, yeah. Then we had the Two of Cups at the bottom. So, yeah, this person here or this connection is doing a restart. Okay, it's definitely doing a restart for something more solid. This person could even be wanting to marry you. But I feel like this is somebody from your past with this judgment. It's a renewal. Okay, they're wanting to come back and start fresh. They're being led here. Somebody's ha had an awakening about what this is. They probably got some tarot readings on you or whatever. But I just feel like um, somebody here is very attractive. Okay. To somebody, I don't know why I just heard that, but somebody's very, very sex, <clears throat> sexy to somebody. My throat chakra is fucking up, so this person, they're scared to express themselves. Yeah, I just said attraction, wanting more insatiable thoughts. <laughs> this person, they want to do you good. But anyways, <laughs> so with the Ace of Pentacles, I do see like a solid foundation, um, a long-term commitment, uh, a life partner, you know, like the card says a marriage a ring okay for some of you all this person has been working on their finances to come back and give you exactly what it is that you want and need okay because they want a family with you they want to be able to support you all you could be feeling that this person is coming back but i just feel like this sense of emotional fulfillment like you really just make them happy and vice versa but yeah they're making a judgment call they're making a decision to you know fix this connection because they're, they're they're thinking about old times they're having past memories so they're coming back they're definitely coming back to start this family with you get married they feel really upset without you they don't feel like themselves yeah the two of cups and the chariot and the six of cups definitely on their way <laughs> what is introverted for aries Three of Cups and the Emperor. <laughs> yeah, well, that doesn't look like that's going to be too much longer. Yeah, with the Fool and the Eight of Wands. A lot of communication, apologies, um, taking that leap of faith, starting new, starting fresh. Yeah, with the Emperor, there you are, Aries. And um, the Three of Cups, this person is going to, or this could be you, you're going to um, take action and reunite with this person because I feel like, you know, that somebody here is tired of being closed off okay somebody wants to take action and come back into union with you here aries that's what it's looking like very straight to the point somebody sees that you and this person have a lot of fun together okay but this is like your divine masculine or this could be you aries <clears throat> as a divine masculine but yeah somebody's making a judgment call to come back well let's get the outcome spirit guys angels what is the potential outcome Please for Aries in your person. Yeah, Six of Cups. <laughs> a reconciliation. Six of Cups could mean reconciliation. Past uh, past life connection. So you and this person connect um, telepathically. Um, you have past lives together. You could have grew up with this person. What else would be potential outcome for Aries? Ten of Wands the world so for some of you it could be that yeah some of you somebody here is moving on from another connection to start a new okay because somebody here is thinking about someone a lot from their past but i feel like maybe if someone had someone else because i do see deception lies wearing a mask secret so 
Hmm. It could definitely be that um, <laughs> somebody here is walking away from somebody and ending something in their past to come towards you. Because you know this person as well, but if they were dealing with someone else, obviously that's their past person too. So, yeah, I do see a reconciliation. For some of you guys, you might feel like that this person just brings you too much baggage. So you're going to walk away. You're going to end it when they do come back because they... They're a burden here with this Ten of Wands, too much responsibility. That could be a thing for some of you. This person could still be very childish, okay? But for others of you, I just feel like there's a reconciliation because you have fond memories with, with uh, whomever this is that you're having good memories about, you know, and they are leaving someone from their past or you're leaving someone from your past to start up with this person. Yeah, so I'm feeling two different situations for some of you. So let's see what these cards say. The Aries spirit and your person. Please and thank you. I don't even know why my child is still up. It's 9.30 and he's going to be pissed in the morning when it's time for him to get up for school <laughs> i'm really just i'm not understanding okay move on yeah then we have fuck it fuck you too so yeah it's like somebody here is leaving something i see someone here moving on and leaving something and deciding to return to someone that they have a very strong bond with someone that actually makes them happy they're moving somebody's actually moving and moving on from somebody else to go back to someone else. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. What what else for Aries? Rest, relax, retreat. Okay. Maybe it's time for you to rest, Aries. Maybe that's what this person is doing. I'm good, love. Yeah, it's, it just feels like a breakup energy. Somebody's breaking up because that's not where their happiness is. Their fulfillment is somewhere else with their life partner. Whoever they're attracted to, whoever they have this strong bond with. What else for Aries spirit? Not right now. Wait, pause. Yeah, so something here is happening in divine timing, I feel. It's definitely happening in divine timing. Celebration with fr family and friends. Okay, so you might get, uh, yeah, dinner for two. <laughs> you might get taken out on a date by this person pretty soon here, um, Aries. This person maybe wants to introduce you to their family and friends. I want you to be mine. Change is coming. You're different. You're beautiful. Yeah. Someone is hella attracted to you, Aries. Boy, bye. You're full of it. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just see like a breakup and then a makeup with someone literally that's what i see some of you all it just could be one story where you're just tired of this person period but i just feel like it's two different stories you know what else i want to hold you you feel like home to me please don't leave me yeah what else soulmates and i want to marry you <laughs> yeah are you ready for more <laughs> are you is the question we need to talk do you love me and player smooth talker cheater womanizer joke liar then bottom of the deck we have twin flames yeah so somebody here was involved with a liar a cheat a con and they could have found out that that's not the person they need to be with they already met their soulmate they just shut them out they held back from their the person that they're supposed to be with and decided to fuck with a player a smooth talker a joke a liar <laughs> you know so let's get some more let's see for aries spirit please in their person <clears throat> I 
bottom of the deck we have starting over yeah <laughs> you and this person starting over fresh stuck yeah they were definitely stuck in something somebody here was stuck in a commitment here or stuck i don't know this card looks scary <laughs> they were stuck in something though obsession false twin flame yeah they were stuck with somebody that was false that's what that was separation yeah that's what causes separation or them and this person is getting a divorce within a year so it could be that for some of you you're coming into union with this person within a year i know you don't want to hear that for others of you it could have already been a year so it could be within this year that you're going to like um be with your person if you, like a year already passed and it's going on too what else for aries spirit triggered self-worth yeah this person yeah this is why they distanced themselves because somebody here had to learn their self-worth they had to get their self-esteem and their insecurities together because i feel like somebody was very insecure missing you growth what else higher self bottom of the deck passion yeah somebody was stuck in the 3d they could have been led somebody could have been led by passion sex just driven by their ego you know but i, I feel like somebody's growing now because they've been triggered they've been triggered into doing better growing up doing the right thing you know because that's the only way that this connection can come together <laughs> is if they do the right thing okay so let's get some more and then we're going to close out here aries for aries spirit what messages do they need to hear please and thank you Interference, yeah, there's some heavy interference going on within your energy. This could be self-inflicted or this could be something outside of you. Get to the bottom of this so you can move past these obstacles. Yeah. Yeah, and then I just saw a new car. So somebody could be getting a new car so they can make their way to you. That's what could have been the problem. Then we have legal issues. If you're going through any legalities at this time, they will work out in your favor. If you're not going through any legal issues, then whatever was unbalanced in your life will become balanced. Okay. What else? Yeah, third party interference could be someone that they had kids with, could be a child support thing or something about some legalities. Mental health, this came out in Taurus's reading. You may need to put more focus on your mental health. The way you are thinking can be very detrimental to your well-being. You may need to take a mental break away from your obligations and focus on healing your mind. A mind is truly a terrible thing to waste. Then we have pleasure. Everyone needs a little playtime with themselves. You may want to invest some love, invest into some love toys for your own enjoyment. Live a little. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Aries. So that's a message for you guys. You guys need some nasty time. Anyways, <laughs> this is your reading. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.